I've been playing this game on and off for like two years now. And it got me thinking, what would my dream office slash dream room be? And I found the perfect size room in the house. So let's get it. Let's design my ideal stream room. So first off, let's open the door. This room right here is ideal. It's small. I would like a small room. I would love a window that I can open where sunlight can go in so I can use a lot more natural light. So first thing we got to do is change these walls. I do not like these walls. I like a whiter, brighter wall. Again, I would love this for streaming. I don't know how it would look on camera, but I think I would have a DSLR hopefully at the time to record myself so I could fix all the lighting and whatnot. Uh, I want to do something special with the wall, but we'll get there when I get the table and computer situated. So let's go. So for the paint, I'm going with a white. I know it's basic. This one's called Snow White, but for the room, I think it's going to look good, especially with the little sunlight that's coming in. So let's get that going. Now that the room's painted white and to my liking, let's go straight for the floor. I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm a carpet person. I do like a nice carpet. I know it gets dirty, but I would have the best vacuum I could possibly have to clean it up. So for this carpet, I'm going with this kind of blue color. I think it complements the walls. I don't know, I'm not the best home interior designer, but I do like this kind of blue aesthetic to it. So let's get to the fun part. I wanna make my computer setup and I wanna do something special to the wall. So let's get that going. Although I love white walls, I am a sucker for black furniture and it gets dusty, but that's how I'm rocking right now. Like I love myself a nice black desk. Ooh, and I've always wanted to like this kind of corner aesthetic desk, maybe a little longer, but this is gorgeous. I need to have drawers. I have a lot of tech stuff. So drawers are definitely needed. Any cubby space or anything like that where I can put controllers or whatnot. Ideally, I buy those things that you put on bottom of the desk that hold controllers and headsets and whatnot. So that would come in handy too with a desk like this. And let's keep going. So if I were to buy a gaming PC, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am the biggest sucker for RGB. I love RGB, RGB is dope and all my stuff in my house is RGB. I don't use it as much as I like to, but when I do, the whole house is lit. I think this is a pretty nice setup right here. So let me buy this. And my tower would obviously be under the desk. They're like right there. Yeah, that's nice looking. You know, I have the, the chair, like maybe in practicality, this looks small and too tight but maybe it'd be built into the desk, like a little situation, but we'll keep it there for now. All right, so I'm going for a two monitor setup and I know it looks weird having the one monitor like in the corner there turned, but that's kind of how I function now, even without a corner desk. I like having that one monitor. That's usually where I watch like shows or anything like that or tutorials or anything. And I have to have that screen kind of turned to my direction. So I would go for the RGB lit keyboard because I'm such a sucker for RGB. Just give me the light. I have one now, but I have a small one. I like the half keyboards. I like the smaller ones. And of course it has to be side tilted. You know, for gaming, I always extend my arm, which means I have to side tilt my keyboard. And let's go for a mouse pad. Now this is an RGB mouse pad, believe it or not. Yes, I do have one of those in real life. But if I had one thing I could change and it's not any fault other than just the game doesn't have it, is I would have a full desk mouse pad. Well, obviously not the corner side, but like a full length. I like the longer length. It just works better for me. I like the slide. I like to have my hands over them. I don't know. It's just a better feeling for me. Let's go for the mouse. Again, a nice RGB mouse. I do have one of those wireless. I love not having wires. I wish I had a wireless keyboard. If you got any suggestions, let me know. A little tilted because I play just like that. So mic is super important. Um, I don't know what I would do for a mic. I do like the blue snowballs. I'm really simple. I keep it really simple, but I have a lot of recording mics and I just need something that's a condenser and works well. So my mic would be sitting on a table like it does now. Usually I drag it right in front of me. This would probably be a perfect spot. So let's put this here. Of course I have to have a controller 
and my favorite controller is the xbox red and black so i would have to have that i'd probably have it on my controller rack but for now have it on the desk right here right next to the controller would be the rgb headset i do have a wireless rgb headset again the biggest sucker for rgb just give me the light you have my money it's sold you make an rgb product i'm buying it all right so this is where my dreams get a little funky i always wanted this i always wanted a hanging monitor and it's funny that the game has one so i'm gonna kind of install it and it wasn't even in my like vision or scope to do this but i would essentially want a third monitor that was off the wall and i could turn and do whatever i want with uh i don't know why essentially i would use it maybe to do some more data analytics stuff and whatnot but definitely not for gaming just to have something on the screen there or whatnot but you're gonna see why in a moment that would probably defeat the purpose but you always need a third screen you know what i mean like i could use this screen for youtube while i use this screen for obs or something like that so Definitely a dream of mine. I don't know how I would implement it, but something like that would work for me. All right, the reason that that screen would defeat the purpose for watching stuff is because I also want a screen on this wall. I would love a screen on this wall because any sports, anything on like actual TV, or maybe if the homies want to play Xbox or something in the room, I would have a wall on this TV. Probably a little smaller than this, but this is the smallest I can get. And put it right here maybe a little couch or something right here everybody can sit down just kind of watch it but again this is like more of an office room more for me if i were to kick back maybe play xbox or playstation or something like that throw it up on the screen watch some netflix whatever chill good nice screen all right so funny enough a webcam obviously this would go on top of the computer i'd probably be using a dslr if i wasn't i'd use a 4k cam I have a 4K cam right now, a Cisco cam. It works really good. Um, I kind of use a green screen chick, so I can't use it to its full potential, but if I was using it normally on OBS, it's a great webcam. So I would go with a 4K webcam. I can't put it on the screen for some reason, so let's just drop it down. So now that I have a webcam, I do want to do something crazy with this wall, like I mentioned, and that would be to turn part of it green. And the reason for that is I like using green screen effects and backgrounds and without having to buy kind of a sheet that has wrinkles or whatnot, or you're always like falling over, it would be nice to just have a green screen wall that I can just rely on. So let's get it. So yeah, part of this wall would be green. I would sit right here, camera facing on top, behind me, probably another camera over here, and it would catch a lot of this background. I think it's just enough space. It'd give me all the green screen space I need to edit or do live editing. And I think that would be dope, honestly. It might look weird aesthetically, but I think I get used to it. You know we gotta go with the racer chair. And for that, I'm gonna go with an all black chair. I don't care what it is. It could be one of those beach chairs. It would have to be all black match the aesthetic the furniture i'm going for pop that bad boy right here gives me enough space to move back forth again the camera would be facing the green screen wall it'll look good got my overhead screen playing the videos or whatever i'm doing have background music up there moving fast changing my pace while i head to the back she's so bad shorty by my side she willing to blast Put on the gas.